When you think of important positions in the NFL, here's what might come to mind. Quarterback, receivers, running backs, tight ends. But one unit of offense often overlooked are the linemen. A lineman's job is to protect the quarterback and running backs from the oncoming defenders. These linemen are known to be the biggest and strongest men on the field. So let's quickly review the best linemen in NFL history. These 10 members of the O-line are known as guards or tackles. At number 10 is Gene Upshaw, the Raiders' main lineman during the 70s who played 231 consecutive starts and won two Super Bowls. The Hall of Famer's name was made into the award for the best lineman in D2 football. Another strong lineman was Orlando Pace, who was picked first overall to the Rams in 97 and proved himself to be very talented in his 13 seasons. While playing for the greatest show on turf, Orlando was a key part in their success as he helped block Kurt Warner and Marshall Folk. Anyway, Orlando helped the Rams win a Super Bowl. First and 10 from the 27, Warner back to throw, rainbows the far sideline and it is caught by Isaac Bruce! Makes a move to the 30, 25, 20, and they won't catch him today! Yes. Next up, Mike Webster was a key part to Pittsburgh's dynasty in the 70s, as he would earn the title as one of the best centers in NFL history. Iron Man Webster would snap and block, letting Bradshaw do his work. Also, Randall McDaniel was a freakishly athletic leader of the Vikings during the 90s. He made a record by starting in 12 Pro Bowls in his career, but he never won a Super Bowl. In fact, the year after McDaniel retired, his team, the Bucks, won it. At number 6 is Forrest Gregg, who played on the Packers team that won the first ever Super Bowl. Forrest Gregg was so good at blocking that coach Vince Lombardi even called him the greatest player he ever coached. On this play against Chicago, Forrest executes the difficult seal-off block perfectly. Taylor gallops through the gap for a Green Bay score. Jonathan Ogden won a Super Bowl for Baltimore in the early 2000s as he played for the most important position on the O-line, the left tackle. Ogden was great at his job since he stopped defenders from attacking the quarterback's blind side. He also had a lot of athleticism for a 345 pound man. John Hanna was a guard in the 70s who bulldozed through defenses. The star made a Super Bowl in the 80s on the Patriots, but played against a tough Bears defense. This didn't stop Hanna from making his name into the best New England Patriot pre-Tom Brady era. And next, at number 3, Bruce Matthews became a leading figure as an offensive Ironman in the 80s and 90s. For 19 seasons, he rarely missed a game and stayed very consistent when he played too. While on the Oilers, he made 14 consecutive Pro Bowls and was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. And for the second best O-lineman in NFL history, Larry Allen played as a big, strong, and fast blocker on the Cowboys. Allen is actually regarded as one of, if not, the physically strongest players in the NFL. In 1994, after nine offensive linemen had already been drafted, the Cowboys selected guard Larry Allen from Sonoma State. He would never be overlooked again. And for the best O-lineman in the NFL, it is no doubt Anthony Munoz. Munoz started all but three games in 13 years, dominating his position at left tackle. While on the Bengals in the 80s, he would rarely allow defensive ends or outside linebackers to pass by him. It was even more impressive since he played at the blind side of the quarterback. Munoz basically represented the perfect example of how a man at his position should play.